Coming up, is Dr. Mike Griffin no longer the NASA administrator? The Obama administration is preparing for a new kind of space race. And the NASA budget, is it going to remain steady? Is it going to increase, decrease? What's going on there? All those stories and quite a bit more are coming up on the first episode of Space Vidcast for 2009. I think what it comes down to is that we've got essentially it's, it's a three-way race right now between us, Russia, and China. Right. And in my humble opinion, China has the the best ability to make this stuff go mm -hmm. because they've got they've just got a lot of people uh, and they can just do a lot with this that uh, I, I don't think Russia's or Russia or the U.S. are going to be able to do. We've got all this legacy stuff and China starting from scratch. I think it's going to be a little bit easier for them to 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 do this. So that's that's where I think it's a little bit different, a little bit the same. But it's just interesting that it, it, there is a new space race starting in 2009. We're going to really start to see it 2010, 2011. That's where we're really going to start to see it. But fundamentally, it's going to start happening in the Obama administration. And so he's got a really rough task ahead of him, especially since Obama first came out and said, you know what, I'm not so sure that we really want to do NASA. We want to, uh, he talked about cutting the funding and rediverting it into education. And then a little bit later on in his campaign, he said, mm, okay, actually, no, I'm going to give NASA more money. And I think part of the reason behind that is that that, you know, quite frankly, um, you know, he, the, the, he, you can't do that to space travel. <laughs> it's late! It's late! Give and me a we're break. we're tired! Wow. All right. Next news item. Next news wow, item. Wow, we're NASA is, heavy on this show. Look at this. We are a little NASA heavy, and you know, I, I, I kind of did that on purpose to a certain extent because, like I said, you know, or like we said, it, this is a new show, mm -hmm. and uh, it, so it's a slightly different format. I'm used to doing all the news and taking care of all that, and Ben said no. We're going to share that burden together. Share it. And I said, oh, great. Now I need to know everything in case you forget something and you need to know something. Awesome. All right. Anyhow, point is that this is a very good segue into this particular story, which is that the NASA budget for 2009 should, for the most part, stay pretty much where it is. The thing is that uh, even if NASA wants to make any, or even if NASA, even if Obama <laughs> wants to make any changes to the NASA budget, he can and that's great and all, but it's really not going to take effect, it's really not going to affect much of anything until about 2010-ish. Um, so pretty much what we're looking at is for 2009, pretty uh, pretty stable for the most part, et cetera, et cetera, which is something that Ben and I, of course, have discussed before. Um, you know, not a whole lot of changes, not a whole lot of uh, intrigue or, or anything along those lines in terms of what's going on in space, for, at least specifically for NASA for 2009. Really, 2010 is the stepping point. Hopefully, with any luck, Obama will make some good choices and uh, he'll be putting money into the space program for 2010. So it doesn't, we don't have to just rely on uh, SpaceX and Virgin Galactic, et cetera, et cetera, for that kind of stuff. Uh, so that, that's pretty much it. So. We got a new guy. Yep. We got a new guy in office who appointed a new guy for NASA, but their money's going to stay the same. There you go. Pretty much it. <laughs> Space news. One of the, there you go. So that's our space news. You like the new open? I like it. I love the new open. And thanks so much to Ty Miner, who actually did the graphics. And also thanks to Voris. Uh, Adam Voris was in the room a little bit earlier. I don't know if he still is. But he's the one who is actually voicing that part for yeah, us. So that was awesome. That was amazing. And that's where it all started. So that, that's been really great. Um, Ooh, that was me. Feedback. You like that? I do. Uh, the, you have to advance too oh, now. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Uh, one of the other, the last item we wanted to talk about was, uh, and this is our main topic for the night, is yes. a, um, we're going to party like it's 2009. Party like it's not, wait, what did you 2009. say? 2009. Oh, okay. 2009. Party 2009. like it's 2009. Yeah. So, Yuri's <laughs> Night is a uh, worldwide party honoring the first manned space flight. Well, first of all, it's not just one world party. It's a two-world party. It is a two-world party. And by that, I don't mean crazy people who walk around with little tin hats or anything. I mean, we're also going to have this party in virtual reality. Uh, this is something that started Oh, and on the ISS. 
And the ISS. So yeah, but three, not, it's not really a world. I mean, don't really count that as a, no. And LEO and all that other stuff. Anyhow, point is, so Yuri's Night, for those of you who don't know what it is, uh, which I understand because, quite frankly, I wasn't too sure what it was. Uh, what we've got going on as my director points feverishly to the other camera for me is <laughs> Yuri's Night. Yuri Gagarin was the first human ever to be in space. Ever. Yes, that's right, people in America. We were not the first people to go into space. It was Russia. So that was April 12th, 1961. Just so happens that there happened to be a lovely a, uh, launch window of April 12th, 1981, when the very first space shuttle from NASA also went into space. So what does that mean exactly? Well, as far as I'm concerned, that means one of the coolest, the biggest, parties, space parties ever known to man. If we could just make everything on April 12th, that would be great as far as I'm concerned. What this comes down to though is there are a couple of people who have gotten together in the past few years, uh, right around uh, 2000 or 2001-ish kind of thing, and started this thing called Yuri's Night. It actually started off as Cosmonauts Night, mm -hmm. believe it or not, or don't. Um, and there are also the Yuri's Day, so don't be confused. If you're looking for information about this, go to yurisnight.net. I'll, of course, have that in the show notes. Um, but what this is, is just a big old space party. People walk around wearing space hats and their silly little tin things and dressing up as aliens and your favorite space characters from Star Trek, Star Wars, and anything and everything you can possibly think of. I know, uh, who is it? Uh, uh, Tomorrow's Mars will oh. probably dress up like somebody from, let's see, Farscape, I'm thinking, if I remember correctly. Anyhow, point is who did that... He dress, no, who did he dress up from as Farscape? Uh, you know the, uh, uh, who was the cat one? Oh, uh, that is far, Farscape, and that's, yes. uh, yeah, no, you, you get points for that. <laughs> That was uh, <laughs> actually you probably would dress up as John, but that's totally beside the point, especially for people who have no idea what I'm talking anyhow, keep about. Keep going. I'm sorry. So I, I, I derail <laughs> this there. Get us back on track. Um, in any case, so the point what I'm trying to make here is that Yuri's Night is a worldwide celebration, and up until 2009, it had only been going on in separate little cities across the globe, and of course, again on virtual reality. Um, but what they're doing this year, they're going all out. They all said, out. you know what? This is too big. We can't handle this. <laughs> we we can't we can't just contain this kind of space frenzy that it is. You are spunky tonight. Look I at know. you go. So you know what's going to happen? Do you know what's going to happen? Let me tell you what's going to happen. What's going to happen is you can sign up to sponsor a party in your city. I don't care if you're Duluth, Minnesota or Hollywood, Florida. It doesn't matter. You could be in Tokyo. You could be in France. You can be wherever. Zimbabwe even. You can sponsor a party to go on during what they're calling Yuri's Night, but it's going on for an entire week. It'll be uh, April 4th, I believe, through the 12th. It could be the 5th. I may be wrong on that, but I'll get back to you on it. Anyhow, point is, it's going to be the coolest. It's going to be the bestest. You can get cute little tattoos and little cups and stuff like that, and everybody is going to log on to uh, the same internet website all at the same time, kind of like you're doing right now to see us, and we're going to party hardy like there's no tomorrow, kind of like Ben was saying, like it's Party like it's 2009. That just doesn't work, but, you know, we are... Well, I, you know, I, I, we're going to make it work. We are going to make it work. Mm -hmm. We are in Minnesota. That's where Prince is from, and uh, so, you know, that's yeah. how it's going to happen. And, oh, Something oh, about the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Did I, did I mention, did I mention the really cool thing, like, why we're even talking about this at all? Why are, why are we talking about yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, like, that's great and all, and that's in April, so why are we even talking about it right now? Because oh, we're going to bring it up a bunch of different times. That's true. And we, Space Vidcast, Benjamin and Carrie Ann Higginbotham, are the official podcast for Yuri's Night. Dum dum dum! As far as I'm concerned, that means I get to go to Ohio <laughs> oh, no. and uh, Hawaii uh, and uh, t no? I don't um, get to... No. No? No. Anyhow, we'll keep you updated on what exactly that means and what it's going to mean and all that other fun stuff. But basically, we are the coolest and you're coming with us. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we're excited <laughs> because any, any space vidcasters that are here in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area or if you want to travel up to this area, um, if Ka Caffeinated doesn't know this yet, but we're going we're gonna to do something here, I think. And uh, then Our you'll director's be able to... laughing in the back there. He's like, wait, <laughs> no. wait what did you just get me into? <laughs> We can't even do one show at a time. <laughs>
Um, I'd love to bring a lot of you guys up here, actually see the studio, see what we go through, kind of get everything going, and actually do a broadcast live on Yuri's night mm -hmm. and make it a big to do. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, we need to start the planning now. Yes, we do. So. There you go. Uh, you know, we were going to have a trivia, a TLA, and give away, give something away. <gasps> we were going to give something away. We didn't do the TLA. We didn't do the trivia. But I will show you what your fabulous prizes are Next going week. to be. Next week. Next week. Because, quite frankly, Ben usually likes to give out really stupid prizes, like cheap little plastic toys that you can get at the supermarket for like 25 cents. You probably can't see this too well. Here we go. It's a rocket. It's a really cool rocket. And it kind of looks like it's broken. What's going on there? Oh, it's a bobble rocket. A bobble and rocket. Do you want to know the coolest part? You probably can't see this, but this right here is what's known as the Space Vidcast logo. Right here. Oh, yeah. G give me some All zoom, right. Mott. Yeah, Push baby. It in, Mott. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's who that is. That's the a Space live zoom. Vidcast logo on our own <laughs> bobble rockets. Thank you, Mom Dog. Oh, man. That's what we got for Christmas. Anyhow, that is one of the coolest things. I cannot on believe the you just face. ran over there and did that. Was the that was the best. Awesome. You guys should have seen it. Anyhow, point is, we are definitely an internet show. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, I keep feel, feeling like I should be like Gary Vaynerchuk and be like, Ma, make sure you do that. Zo Anyhow, zoom it. Zo little zoomy, zoomy, zoomy. Okay. <laughs> so the point is, one of these can be yours, and. If you answer correctly in the next five minutes, oh no, no, that's not right. Actually, we have a lot of really cool stuff. We'll be giving away really high ticket and really cool items from the spacestore.com. We'll be giving away things from the Space Vidcast store as well. We'll be giving away the one of a kind, one ish of a kind, six of a kind, bobble rockets. And there really are only six of these in the world. Yep, that's it. So that's it. And once we're once they're out, they're out, and I'm keeping two. So there you go. <laughs> Uh, you know, the space pens, the AG7 space pens embroidered with the, uh, or laser engraved with the, lots of great prizes, and that's going to start next week. We just wanted to get a show off the ground this week, and I didn't want to add too many variables, because had we done more stuff, I'm afraid the show wouldn't have started until The show would not have gone ever, on. Ever. <laughs> so once again, I want to thank everyone for joining us. We're going to cover more Yuri's Night, and we're going to put more of this information on the spacevidcast.com site, which has just recently relaunched. You'll notice that you can organize things by category. You can actually search for you things can? you can find. I know, you can actually find previous videos. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. So hopefully you guys like the website. I'd like to thank Colton for helping out on that one. And uh, everyone in the chat room, Starbucks lover, Cat, you know, I, I could go through everyone's names, but you, I mean, Iron Fist, Carbon X, all of you are just amazing people. And for all of you who put up with us for the last, what has it been, three hours? Easy. Three hours and, and stayed with <laughs> us and done the live show. Thank you so much. And if you're watching this on demand, for shame, you should have been part of the fun, fun part of the community trying like to build Gooey a show. Like said, it was the best pre-show ever. It was the longest pre-show ever. Oh, and yeah, because of said. that, there will be no post-show. Love I'm you. sorry. So thank you guys. <laughs> Tune in next week. We're going to be starting at <laughs> Thursdays <laughs> in Minneapolis. So it, that's, uh, that'll be a Friday at <laughs> Coordinated Universal Time. <laughs> uh, stay, watch our Twitter. Here's what you can do. Go to twitter.com slash space vidcast. We're going to post out approximately when we think we're going to be starting. And we're going to, I think we fixed a lot of the glitches, so yes. you're not going to have to wait until 11 o'clock p.m. Central Time <laughs> again. That's, no. that's out. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to get that. We're going to update that. We're going to keep you up to date with that. And even if we have bandwidth issues like we did tonight, we're going to get it all out. You guys will have all the information you need. So twitter.com slash spacevidcast. Stay right up to date. Page right to your cell phone. You know exactly when Space Vidcast is starting. Follow us there. We'll, we will eventually be back on our no normal times. Uh, Friday at 2 o'clock a.m. Coordinated Universal Time. That's 6 o'clock p.m. on Thursdays in Pacific Time, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time if you're in the United States, Thursday nights. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great night, and that's a credit roll for you. Yeah.